What you're looking at right now is an unfinished video game called Mario Obama. Longtime fans of this channel will know what that is. It's a game I teased way back in the tail end of 2013. See, most people will tease a game after it's at least a little bit finished. But I'm not most people. I'm what most scientists call a dumbass. Just teasing a few of the game's songs before the programming even started has led to a chain reaction that resulted in the game looking like it barely started after it being in development for three years. All it was gonna be is a quick joke game with like half a dozen levels and that's it. But teasing the game with its arguably most stable aspect, the music, has led to enough hype to lead people to believe that it's almost done has led to the lead dev and the program of the game to make the game more ambitious than it's worth. And with all due respect to the programmer, this led Luz into a bite off more than you can chew sort of situation. But not with just the project itself, but other things like regularly making YouTube videos as well as regular live streams in the middle of all of this. Doing all those things at once is just not easy at all. And it further drove away focus from Mario Obama. Because of all of that and just life in general getting in the way, it has led to the game's creation trickling down to a halt. Leaving many really, really shittily poorly drawn art assets without a home. So the game, Mario Obama, is dead. It's a dead meme. However, at least there is Cheda Chedovic, trademark. That's the name of the reboot. I gotta be real with you, I always kept coming back to this wacky Mario game concept, and the music made for the game had me coming back wanting to make it a reality. I tried many times to redo Mario Obama, but it just kept not clicking or clacking or kicking or cocking, so instead, I had to change the main character to our favorite choppily animated Slav boy, Cheda, the leader of the poor four. While it is a bit disappointing that you don't control Mario Obama in this game, we at least know what brought us to the dance in the first place, and we're keeping the soundtrack. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that weird annoying music is back for all you to enjoy and drive you up the fucking wall. Lucky for all of you, I'm actually teasing this game while it's about a bit more than halfway done. That's right, I finally learned from my mistakes after only five short years. It has the Mario Obama soundtrack, it has the Mario 3 crossed with Mario World sorta of thing, it has Serbian boys going to hell, what's not to like? The game, well in its level theme at least, is more inspired by games like I Wanna Be The Guy or Boppin', where you go around in levels based off other retro games, except in this case, the levels are based off obscure fucking games nobody's ever heard of, except for like me and like one other guy. It may not be a game so crazy and wacky that you'd go insane like all of you were expecting, but hey, you never know. Maybe the game will have a few drops of insanity in there. So uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing all year. Um, maybe later I'll post a new song from the game. Keep that tradition up, I guess. Hopefully this game will see the light of day, eventually. Uh, but for now, that's all I can say. If everything I said throughout this video still sounds confusing to you and you still have no idea what the fuck is going on, don't worry, I don't know what the hell I'm saying either. <laughs>